All right, episode two, we're building this note app and we are diving into our first actual um, app code. So we are going to be diving into Android Studio to build the Android app out of the gate. Um, this video, we're just gonna kind of do the rough setup of the UI. We're not gonna do a whole lot with the classes yet. So let's just dive into Android Studio and get started. All right, so let's d jump into Android Studio real quick. So we're gonna do basic activity next. So we're gonna change this to the video version Android open. Perfect. Kotlin is what we'll go with. Um, we're just going to do note app. Um, Kotlin allows you to have a little more flexibility and then you have to only have to change a few little things out of the gate. So I'm going to stick with that for now. So we'll go ahead and finish. Pull that guy up here. Make this a little smaller. Make this a lot smaller because this code is huge, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not worried about it being that big. It'll make it easier for you, you guys to see. We're not doing any crazy, humongous methods yet. So we're going to go to project, oops, project files. We're going to open up the app, source, main, Java, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start by, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll delete that. So we're gonna keep it super simple here and just build out the views real fast and then kind of the shell of the Java class. So let's open up our layout folder. So right now we have activity main, which is literally just a hello world thing, which we don't need. Um, so we'll need two other layout files. So we're gonna do layout file for do activity um, login and then do layout resource file activity um, register. Cool. So those should be the two main ones we need. Um, in the activity main, we're going to need two buttons. So we're going to throw one button, two button. And one will be, what are those? Both? Whatever. They both look off center to me. Doesn't matter. So one's gonna be login, and one is gonna be oh, red register. So this is just gonna take us to different parts of the app, uh, or to different activities, just so we don't have to try and cram it all into one. Uh, so we wanna make sure that you set the ID for these. So we're gonna say um, button, so this will just be um, login button, yes, refactor. And this will be register button. Yes, refactor. Now we gotta make sure we set these constraints, otherwise it'll look all jacked up. So literally just click and drag to the edge and it's gonna automatically center it for you. I wish Apple would take one, this note out of the page of Android. Everything else not so keen on, but the actual editor here is pretty solid generally. All right, so let's make sure we do 16 here. All right. So they both have IDs that we got sent to the text we need. So we're done here generally. So let's go ahead and um, set up the login screen now. Um, so we're going to set, so login is pretty basic. So it's a couple text fields. Nope, not text view, I'm sorry. It's an edit text, so plain text. We'll change this probably a little bit, I'm guessing, because, oh, well, you know, I just did that. These are also a little small, generally. So let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. Now let's copy and paste. And then we need another button to go right below this for the actual login. We'll make it a little bigger. All right, so this is actually not good. So this is text that's set here. So you wanna actually delete that. And then your hint text, put um, email address. And then again, delete that. We're gonna do password. Before it's all said and done, this will actually be a password field. Um, but for now, I'm trying to do a quick and dirty to just to kind of get the base of the app set up. So button will just be login. All right, so let's set, don't forget to set the IDs. So this will be uh, user login button refactor. And we'll say um, edit text user password refactor 
and then this will be edit, oops, edit text, user, email, refactor. And then again, don't forget to put your constraints. You don't want it to look all jacked up. Who we should also probably put, hold on one second. We also, I forgot one thing that we're gonna need. Let's go and do that. Oh, why didn't that click? There we go. Click and drag. Do the same thing with this guy. Click and drag, click and drag. All right, so grab it from the top here. We'll bring it down just a hair. And then here we'll set it to 16 and to 16. Perfect. And then we're actually gonna need one more button here. Um, and that's gonna be the back button. So if we get here and we wanna go back, we don't have to restart the app. So we'll say back, good. And then we'll come up here and we'll say um, login back button factor. All right, so now we have those set up. So let's go ahead and set up register. So we're gonna need that little small button up here again for back. And then you're gonna need four, because we need a first name, last name, email, and password. Uh, you normally probably also have five, just you know, because you want people to confirm and make sure that they know what they're doing from a password perspective. Um, that is way too tall. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right, so copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. All right, so we got four text fields, and then we needed one more button. We'll go ahead and extend that out, not all the way because you don't want it to make it look like it's supposed to be the exact same width, because, you know. All right, so let's go ahead and do all of the constraints real fast here. And then this guy, oh, I always miss. And then side to side. And then again, side to side. It's a lot of repetition. If, if you haven't figured that one out yet, there's a ton of repetition, which is fine. We can get the, we can make this all work. Uh, all right, so we'll come up here. We'll drag this down just a bit, and then we'll do eight, 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 and finally eight. All right, and this guy, I don't think I did this in the other one. So let's make sure we do this, and we're gonna do eight and eight. So we need to set back as the button text. And then we'll set the ID to um, register back button. Done. Okay. So then this one will be edit. Oops. Edit text. First name. Factor. Get rid of name. And we'll do um, first name. The same thing for last, so we'll do last name, and then make sure that we do change the ID again, edit text, um, last name, factor, same thing, we'll do edit text, um, email, should do it, and then go down and get rid of name, Again, we'll do um, email address. And we'll do um, hint for this will be password. And we'll get rid of that. And then we'll come up. We'll go edit, oops, edit text, password. Refactor that. So we fix this. So this will be. Um, register user button refactor is fine. I'm hitting enter for that. For those, um, I'll just do a register here. Perfect. Right, that's got everything that I need. Okay, I do need to bounce back because I don't think I put constraints on this guy. I did not. So let's go and do that. And then we'll do that. An eight. So that this is kind of just how you quickly do. The same thing without having to drag and try and get close to so like eight. I put eight pixels, or I don't think they're actually pixels in Android, but that's how we that's how we're gonna do it. All right, so that's about it from setting up the actual views. Is there anything else I want to do? So what we can do, we can go ahead and set up the folder structure too while we're at it. So we're actually gonna delete this. 
um, because we don't want we don't need a Kotlin file. We just don't um, for this. So we're gonna say okay. Yep, delete anyway. All right. So then within this, we're gonna do a new Java class, and it's gonna be main activity. Boom. And then we're gonna do a new package within that. A new package will be a models. And then another new package. Um, package will be API. All right. So within there, you're gonna need a Java class. The interface will be API. And you'll need another Java class. And this will just be a regular class. And it'll be retrofit client. Retrofit is what we use to actually build our API. And then for models, you'll need a new Java class for login response. And then one for user. Good to go there. And then we need on the actual Node app, we need a Java class for login, we need a Java class for register, register, and that should do it. Da, da, da. Yep, that should do it, I think. I can't think of anything else that we would need for this video. So we're gonna go ahead and take a pause here, and we'll come back and we'll tie it all up and create our API and all that good stuff. That's it, that's the UI, it's very basic so far. Obviously we're gonna blow this out even further. It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be an app. I mean, a lot of people submitting the same app probably all gonna get rejected, but I think the idea is there. Maybe build a different idea or make your Node app notable in some way. But this is the first step. Um, so next episode we'll actually dive in and start setting up all the classes um, and make sure that we can kind of connect to all those ui elements we just did and then the episode after that we'll actually dive into connecting it to the api like creating the api calls within using retrofit and then we will start actually making calls to the api i hope this was enjoyable if you're liking what you're seeing please 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 dive in and hit um, the like button and the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on if you want to know when more videos are coming out. Tons more content, not just technical coming out. I hope everybody has having a fantastic day and just make sure you take care of yourself and just, you know, keep pushing yourself, keep coding.